गुड मॉर्निंग माय इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट इंग्लिश मैन टुडे आई विल गिव गिव लेक्चर ऑन मेटा फिजिकल पोइट्री नाउ यू टेल मी दैट सर प्लीज एक्सप्लेन द टर्म मेटा फिजिकल मेटा फिजिकल मीन्स इट इज ए लैटिन वर्ड मेटा मीन्स वास्ट physical means body that has, has can it can be said vast body that is who has vast body that is god now but a physical means beyond senses beyond perception but a physical poet talks beyond senses beyond perception that is metaphysics physics that is metaphysical now in england in oxford university there were group of metaphysical poets for instance john dun harvard cowley etc they are known as metaphysical wits and why this poetry is beyond the general poetry because the writer of metaphysical poetry the po uh, metaphysical wits gives celestial thought and is beyond perception beyond sense and it is only the door of salvation according to metaphysical wits this period came in jacobian period in english literature it is known as jacobian period 1500 perhaps to 1600 before renasa before shakespeare now i will give a one example of john dun is one poem is free john dun not dun and dun in free he he talks the merit the characteristics of free free that free dunks everybody but equally equal test with everybody that is the characteristics of free now his another poem is very famous is death be not proud in death be not proud just let me explain it in death be not proud john dun writes that death is just like fix now it is just like sleep and rest it is momentary every time you feel death it can be detected by intoxication or opium so death be not proud that was his concept of death you are not almighty or everybody or anything else another poet is george harvard is remarkable noted poetry is poem is pulli the gist of pulli is it draw man from nature to upper layer this is pulli this is the function of pulli from earth to heaven it draws that that was george harvard poem people very remarkable notable point so my english scholar student as english man we we are talking about metaphysical poetry two philosophy on metaphysical poetry yolo and yodo yolo believe in this world 
this present world, this universe. That was the darshan of philosophy of his old world. Yodo says that metaphysical poetry is beyond perception, beyond senses. It is, self, it is, it is beyond universe. It is beyond world. That was Yodo concept of metaphysical poetry. So in nutshell, despite thing, despite in spite of all these things, we can say that the door of salvation, the door of enlightenment is possible through metaphysical poetry. Metaphysical poetry. Kaule, Harvard, Dunn, as I have given example. So it is very interesting to know the YOLO and YODO philosophy on metaphysical poetry. One talks about within this earth, one talks about beyond this world, beyond senses, beyond perceptions. This is difference between YOLO and YODO philosophy on metaphysical poetry. So, now, I have explained metaphysical poetry and poets from all angles, it touches the all angles, from ages, thought, philosophy, poet, poetry, the originated of world, the little meaning of metaphysics, metaphysical, everything I have mentioned in, the, in my lecture today. All of us at last come into conclusion that we can say that metaphysical poets are above than general writers. In metaphysical poetry, LG, Sonnet, poetry, they have written in a different way. That is metaphysical songs, that is metaphysics. And the versatile genius, profound scholar writer, poet of Oxford, they were known as metaphysical wit. They were metaphysical wit, for instance, Cowley, George Herbert, John Dunn, they are in the group of metaphysical wit in Oxford University, London. So English student, English man, you must keep in mind the celestial thought, the philosophy of Eolo and Eodo, the meaning of metaphysical, the purpose of metaphysical poetry is essential for you, for part two, part one student, an honest student. Even English a student who reads English, that is essential, that is the infrastructure of metaphysical world. So, you follow my lecture, you act, and you must read all these po poets, as I have mentioned the name, Harvard, Kaule, John Dunn, and Yolo and Yodo philosophy, and the term which has been used by metaphysical weeds. They are a scholar, that's why they are known as metaphysical weeds in Oxford University. And they have created amazingly. He talks about the own world. Metaphysical poets talk about beyond world. That is yellow, yellow philosophy. Beyond perception, beyond senses. That is metaphysical poetry. That's why it is said that their imagination, their vision, 
touches the reality and the spirit, touches the emotion and feeling, that is a very fantastic colonial language they have used in metaphysical poets. It is the point which you remember that emotion and feeling, perception of reality, doors of salvation, enlightenment, that is the important for English man, English student. Now, I conclude my lecture today on that point and I hope that you will understand my views, understand the metaphysical wits, metaphysical conceit and that will be very helpful for you as if you are English student. Thank you very much.